One of my worst experiences, uh, genuinely, and biggest challenges was on a film I made called United 93, uh, which was about the 9-11 attacks. And at the heart of the film was a long, like ran through the whole film, sequence inside the US Air Traffic Control headquarters on the day of 9-11. And the central character in that environment was a man called Ben Sliney, who was in charge of uh, America's uh, air traffic control system on the day. And I'd cast an actor to play Ben Sliney, and we had, luckily for me, uh, also hired Ben Sliney to come over and be our technical consultant, just to make sure that all the technical details were right. And we had three days to shoot this entire sequence. It's a big part of the film, or maybe it was four, but it was only a handful of days anyway. I wanted to work sort of loosely and slightly improvisatory, not so much improvisation, but, but asking the actor to absorb a lot of information and, and, and allow the piece to flow. When it came to it, the actor was struggling. He didn't really like that way of working. And by the end of the first day, uh, he'd be putting cue cards up around the set so he could read little pieces and it was making the whole piece stilted and not work and throwing everybody else out. So we had a chat at the end of the day and I said, listen, you, you've got to play it like we discussed at the outset. You know, it's got to be, you've got to absorb this information and then we've got to be loose and, and play the scene at length, you know, 15, 20 minutes long. So we came back in the next day and this actor wasn't prepared to do that. And we staggered through the day and I was looking at disaster down the barrel of a lens because we had no film. This guy was just dying, sadly. So at the end of the day, I thought, it's never going to work. We're going to have to find somebody else to do it. So it was like seven, eight o'clock at night. We had two days left to shoot the entirety of what we'd not shot, plus the rest of the work. So about eight o'clock, I had the conversation. He knew it wasn't working and he, he didn't want to carry on. Um, so there we were out of Pinewood trying to scrabble around to find an actor to pick up a part at a moment's notice, come in the next morning at eight o'clock and play the part of Ben Sliney. I tried a couple of friends, they weren't available. By now it was like 11 o'clock at night and it was too late to get anybody from New York Oh, what are we going to do? It was like this whole film's going to going to not work. Finally, I thought I'm going to have to ask Ben Sliney to step in and play himself. So um, I rang him up and said, "Would you be?" And he said, "Yeah, sure. I'll be there tomorrow morning. That'd be no problem at all. Just let me know what time you want me." So I said, "Well, I'll see you at seven in the morning." Great. So I came in at seven in the morning. I said, "How are you feeling, Ben?" He said, "Great. I'm ready to go." He said, just want to say one thing. Thanks for making me first reserve to play myself in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went on and he was absolutely brilliant. And uh, in many ways made that film the film it was. So, no matter how bad the disaster that you're looking at, there is always a solution. And that solution can not only be more than sticking plaster, it can be the making of your film. So you're never, it's never over until, you know, you have to keep on pushing, keep on fighting on a film till the last minute.